some of them who may be of the Republican persuasion, although we're not going to give up on them, are we? We're going to keep trying to reach out to them. First thing you can tell them is, best as you could tell, looking under the lights, I don't have horns. Um, <laughs> And the second thing you can tell them is that, you know, our economy does better when we have a Democrat in the White House. That is just a fact. Uh, not, not, not really, not necessarily, but I don't want to get into that right now. I'm going to have a lot more on Hillary um, in the Gimme Five segment. You might want to stick around for that at the end of the show. But joining us now is Webb Hubble. He is, of course, former Assistant Attorney General of the United States and former Hillary Clinton law partner and the author, perhaps most importantly, of a great book called Ginger Snaps. I believe that's the second in a series, and the third is already at the publishers, I'm told. Hey, Webb, how are you? I'm doing great. Good to talk to you. Good to talk to you, as always. Okay, so, you know, there's, there's all kinds of stories that Hillary is now trying to make herself palatable to Republicans. Um, do you think that there's a shot that Republicans would be interested in voting for Hillary Clinton? Uh, given the current lineup of nominees, I think... I'd say about half of the Republicans are going to end up voting for Hillary. Half of the Republicans. Half of them. Now you say so. So depending on so if if one of them so if it's Trump, if it's Rubio, if it's uh, uh, Cruz, if it's Carson, you're saying if it's any of those four in the as the nominee that Hillary will get half of the Republican votes. Maybe not. Maybe not Rubio, but I'd say with the other three, you're right. Wow. All right. And and why is that? Uh, because I don't think the mainstream of the Republican Party is going to be able to hold their nose long enough and vote for Trump. Well, uh, well what about what about Cruz or what about uh, Carson? Same with Cruz. And I, I really don't think there's a realistic chance that Carson will be your nominee. You know, there's a, there's a, a story out today. Um, you know, it's not like Hillary has 90% uh, against Bernie Sanders in, in any poll either. True. Uh, and and, and it, there's a story that uh, uh, Democracy for America, Howard Dean's uh, grassroots progressive group, has endorsed mm -hmm. Bernie Sanders. So Howard Dean tried, reportedly, according to BuzzFeed, but couldn't sell Hillary to that group. Um, I mean, it's, is, is she going to, if she is the nominee, uh, you know, when Romney was the nominee, when McCain was the nominee, a lot of the base stayed home. Can you see some of the more progressive base uh, and the coalition that got Obama into the White House staying home or being disinterested if Hillary's the nominee? Well, I, again, who's going to be running against her? I think if it's Donald Trump, there'll be a whole large group of people who've never voted before who are going to go and vote and hope that did not happen. So it's hard to say now until you know who the nominee is. Uh, but let me ask you um, if you think uh, that um, that it's uh, fair uh, when 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 reporters are talking. If Donald Trump was under FBI investigation, or Carly Fiorina, or Ben Carson, or any of them, uh, yeah. I, you, you would have to admit that that when they would refer to these people in the news on TV, they would say who's under FBI investigation. I believe, right. but Hillary, they never say that about her. It's as if it just doesn't exist. Well, you need to talk to your reporter friends about that, not to me. No, but, I mean, you could have an opinion. Is there a double standard? You've lived through a lot of this. Oh, I've lived through a lot of it, absolutely. I don't think there's a double standard because I don't think the mainstream media believes there's anything there there. Okay, is it, but it, is it, is it their job to determine that or to point out that you, the FBI thinks enough of it to still be investigating it? You know, I... I don't know what goes into the mind of a reporter. I've never been a reporter. I've done a lot of things, <laughs> written some novels, but I've never been a reporter. All right. I've been reported about, but I've never been a reporter. <laughs> Fair enough. Vladimir Putin has, yeah. has called uh, Donald Trump outstanding and talented and a leader. What does that mean and what benefits for Trump or repercussions for Trump will that have? That ought to scare the heck out of everybody, yes. Why? Well, uh, look who's, the, who's speaking, you know. Uh, uh, they seem like, you know, two peas in a pod. I guess that's the way to look at it. So you think, you think it'll hurt him? Oh, I do think it'll hurt him, yes. And, and um, what about the fact that Hillary 
you know, famously pushed the reset button on the Russian policy. Will that hurt her? You know, I don't know who we're, again, we're not to the point of having one-on-one, -on -one, of having Hillary versus Trump or Hillary versus Rubio. Until that happens, we really can't say what, who will hurt and who will it help. Webb, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and we'll speak to you uh, soon. I appreciate it, sir. Look forward to it. Take you care. Do Webb Hubble, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, more of the show, folks. But first, tomorrow, 4 p.m. Eastern, and Webb could do this too. Make sure to tune in to America Talks Live for a chance to speak with me, Steve Malsberg, on Newsmax TV's most interactive show yet. You can call 877-NEWSMAX shortly before 4 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. We're looking forward to talking to you.